Hello and welcome to a new uh, video demonstration of the uh, Chrome to Phone tool which uses the new Google Cloud Messaging API to get things from your desktop down here to your Android phone. I have a Motorola Droid running uh, Android 2.2 Froyo and a Windows 7 machine up here running the Chrome browser. We'll go ahead and full screen that. You can see we have a website here with Android Gaming News up and let's say we were uh, getting ready to leave and we needed to send this to our phone so we could read it on our commute to work or something. It says up there that it's sending the link to the phone and we watch the phone. There we go. Browser launched on its own and we have the mobile version of the website coming up. So uh, so yeah, really simple thing like that. You can see uh, we can actually go a little step further and maybe, maybe we got a game that we want to play on our phone. Found it on our desktop here. We don't feel like typing in that long obnoxious link but we want to play that game on the go. There you go. I got Flash set to load on demand, so I'll actually click that to enable the Flash browser, or Flash plugin, I mean. And there we go. Now, those are kind of neat, you know, it takes a web page, stuff like that. But one of the things they've done to integrate to show this step a step further is let's say you've got directions on a map. Like I'm taking a trip uh, to Leadville, Colorado here in a few weeks, and I want these directions to go to my phone so that I can, uh, I can use it for navigation. Um, so I click the magic send button, and we can see oh, all right. <laughs> the game's launching. Give it a moment and it won't be the thing in focus, of course. We see, here we go. Here comes Google Maps. Give it a moment there. It is loading up the driving directions is what it says. Sorry for the My phone or my camera here doesn't focus the best, doesn't autofocus, sorry. But there you go. We have our directions that we got right from there, and so I can just actually click navigate, or show on map, whichever thing you want to do. And we get some Google navigation right there from our thing there. So uh, there you go, that is Chrome to Phone using the Google Cloud Messaging API. Uh, look forward to seeing uh, more and more tools start using this API, because uh, it can allow for push notification from anything without tons of things having to have their very own um, their very own, uh, like, you know, long pooling connection back to a server or anything like that. We get that one connection to the centralized cloud server, uh, which would be great for battery life and things like that, too. So, um, there you go. Enjoy.